valued viewers. I hope you are all doing very well. This video features the Russian Railroad Systems 4-14-4, labeled a AA20-1, one of the biggest locomotive failures in railroad history. And just a quick reminder to let you all know that the Super Thanks button is on, and any person who contributes $20 or more for the channel's efforts gets a video title of their own choosing, and their video takes a priority over any, uh, any uh, project that I am doing. Alrighty, so thank you very much, and without further ado, on with the story. In Russia in the 1930s, railways were in almost constant crisis, mainly as a result of under-resourcing and political interference. Most problems were to be solved in a Bolshevik manner, if you know what I mean. And anyhow, that means radical ideas promoted by non-technical commissars and the uh, theory people. The re results were almost usually very unhappy and an unsatisfactory. And in this case, Stalin's engine, the AA-20-1, was built. This design was very notorious. It was built in the Lugansk Works, emerging in December of 1934. It became famous as the largest non-articular lo locomotive in Europe, and in particular for having the most coupled axles in the world. A few countries produced 12 coupled designs, but nobody else tried a 14. It was intended for heavy haulage on light 78-pound per yard rails with a modest loading of 20 tons per axle on the Moscow Donbass route. The 20 inch, and it should be noted here that the 20 in the AA20 refers to 20 tons per axle. When construction was completed, it, it successfully made a publicity trip to Moscow in January of 1935, but never entered service. No details are available of trial run. So as construction began, the original design was a 214-4 wheel arrangement and that construction started that Krupp works in Essen to a Soviet design. But the, later, the whole project was transferred to Lugansk where a leading bogey of four wheels replaced the pony truck. In an effort to get the AA-20-1 around curves, middle three axles had flangeless wheels that, that is blind and universal joints were included in the coupling rods between the first, second, sixth and seventh axles. It should also be noted that the Soviet design for this locomotive, the 412-4, was largely from the Union Pacific 9000 class or the Union Pacific 4-12-2. So the Russian engineers decided to try the idea and enlarge it into a locomotive with that 14 coupled driving wheels. Unlike the American Union Pacific 9000 class 412-2s, the AA-20-1 was a complete failure in design. Due to the long length of the locomotive's wheelbase, it caused the tracks to bend, which made the locomotive prone to derailing constantly on the tracks due to its weight. The locomotive also broke points and switches as it passed over, as would also bend the track outwards. It was also too big for turntables and sometimes broke couplers due to the immense power that it had. And because of low quality coal being constantly used, it also had trouble producing enough steam in a boiler that was just gigantic. The Soviet Union tried to limit the derailing problem by removing those flanges as I mentioned earlier on the three middle driving wheel. And these changes were absolutely worthless. And also the AA-20-1's record for being the largest non-articulated steam locomotive in the world would soon be lost after the Pennsylvania Railroad brought out the S-1s. And it was very clear that the AA-20-1, though due to Russian pride was never publicly admitted, that this locomotive was a complete disaster from start to finish. And after 1935, the locomotive was stored for 25 years at the Srebrenica test facility and finally scrapped in 1960. And the final note was the AA in the title for the locomotive stood for Andre Andreev, who, who was the locomotive's principal designer. And with that, the following specifications apply to the Russian Railways 4-14-4 steam locomotive. Designation AA-20-1. The manufacturer was Voroshilovgrad Locomotive Factory, and the build date was 1934. There were two originally purchased, obviously only one was finished. The classification, again, was AA-20-1. The rail gauge it operated on was 5 foot. The valve gears used was wall shirts, two outside cylinders at 29.13 inches by 31.89 inches. The fire grate area was 130 square feet. The fuel type was coal of the very cheap type in normal water. The heating area was 1,870 square feet. 
The locomotive's maximum speed was 43 miles an hour. The tractive effort was 71,940 pounds. The year in service was 1934 through 1935. The locomotive was stored and then scrapped in 1960. And obviously nothing's preserved of the project. And with that, I shall end the video, and I thank you for watching the video. If you like the content today, please hit the like button. And also, if you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Both the like and subscribe help my channel grow. And don't forget about the super thanks button if you want to help uh, with the efforts of the channel. If not that way, then you can visit our print shop at Nickel Plate Limited on Etsy.com. And we thank you once again.